Why learn your tables when you can use a calculator? What happens if you don't have a calculator or the batteries fail just when you need to work something out? Most learners can cope with and know their 2, 3, 5 and 10 times tables, often learned by chanting or repeating addition. The 4 times table are also ok if they double twice, e.g. 6 times 4 is 12 times 2 which is 24. However, the 6, 7, 8 and 9 times tables are a different matter. Using their hands however, many learners will be able to calculate these tables rather than floundering, guessing, etc. which is their current practice. As with all new skills it will need practice and initially learners may well be slow. The results however, if they stick at it, will allow them to confidently calculate their 6, 7, 8 and 9 times tables rather than learning them which for many adults has and is such a barrier to progress with their basic numeracy. To use their hands as calculators it will involve learners remembering which finger is which number, at least at the beginning. Some learners find it useful to write the numbers on their fingers, it's just one less thing to remember. When looking at their hands, palm up, the fingers are numbered from the little finger up to the thumb. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Touching fingers. The times table or the product is found by touching the correct fingers together. For example, for 6 times 8, the little finger on the left hand touches the middle finger on the right hand as shown. If done correctly, the fingers should look like this. And for 8 times 6, the middle finger on the left would touch the little finger on the right hand, as shown here. Calculating an answer involves three steps. Let's go back to the example we started with, 6 times 8. Remember the little finger on the left hand, the 6, touches the middle finger on the right hand. Eight. The first step is to look only at the fingers above those two touching. In this example there are four on the left hand. One, two, three, four. That gives us four times the number of fingers on the right hand, which in this case is one, two. So we have four on the left hand and two on the right hand, giving us four times two, which is equal to eight. The second step is to look at the touching fingers and any dangling below. These are all tens and we add them up. First the touching fingers, one, two, plus those below, three, four. This gives us 4 lots of 10, which is 40. 
We now add those two answers together, shown here in the red circle and the blue circle. 8 plus 40 equals 48. So 6 eighths are 48. OK, let's have a look at another example. Looking at the hands below, what multiplication or product are, is the learner trying to do here? I hope you were correct. On the left hand, numbering from the little finger upwards, 6, 7, 8 times, again on the right hand, from the, number, from the little finger upwards, 6, 7. So it's 8 times 7. To do this calculation, remember the three steps. First step is to look at the fingers above those touching. On the left hand we have two, and on the right hand three. So three times two is six. Step two is to add together those fingers touching and those dangling below. They're tens, remember. On the left hand, on the touching fingers, we have 1, 2, and below 3, 4, 5. So that's 50. 50 plus the 6 from the first calculation, and the answer is 56. This next example is slightly different. See if you can work out what the calculation is first. Numbering from the little fingers up towards the thumbs, starting with 6, you should have worked out that this calculation is 7 times 6. Going through the steps as before, step 1, looking at the fingers above those that are touching. On the left hand we have 3 fingers, on the right hand 4. That's 3 times 4, which is 12. second step is those fingers touching and any dangling below. In this case there are three, that is 30. 30 plus the 12 is 42. So the answer to this calculation is 7 times 6 equals 42. The three steps to using your fingers as a calculator for the 6, 7, 8 and 9 times tables are illustrated here. Remember, the fingers above those touching on the left hand times the fingers above those touching on the right hand are added together to the two fingers touching and any dangling below, counting them as 10. 